dear students welcome back to a digital learning an initiative by a department of collegiate and technical education government of karnataka dear students so so far we have discussed in the unit in the previous sessions that is the meaning of planning definition of planning features of planning objectives of the planning nature of the planning process of the planning and purpose of the planning and in this session we are going to learn about a types of a planning the learning objective of the session is to learn about the types of plans and the session outcomes is at the end of the session the student shall have a concept clarity regarding the types of plans in the organization the types of plans on the basis of usage and the plan period the plans will be classified into two types one is single use plan and standing plan single use plan is a one time plan it means a single use plan is a plan which is to be developed for a one time event or a project for example budget programs projects okay next standing plans standing plans that are designed for the activities that are performed repeatedly or standing plans so these are the operational plans that provide guidance for the activities that are undertaken very frequently so they act as a ready reference for a given situations for example policies rules procedures like a procedure for grant of loans by banks and rules are a standing plan on the basis of achieving the objectives plans will be classified into eight types there as follows one is objectives next will be strategies next a policies next will be procedures next will be methods next will be rules next a programs and budget so let us learn one by one in detail in the coming slides the first type of plan is objective the so objectives are the goals which an organization wants to achieve by its operations so objectives are set by the top management it means top level management they lay down the guidelines for the activities and the serves as a benchmark for measuring the performance of the organization for example increasing monthly sales by 10% or earning the 20% return on investment usually objectives are put in the form of written statements of the desired results to be achieved in a given period of time next type of plans is strategies the strategies are the specific programs of action for achieving the objectives of the organization by employing the organization's resources efficiently and economically a formulation of a strategies involves three aspects namely a determination of the long term objectives adopting a course of action to achieve the objectives allocation of resources necessary to achieve the objectives for example strike the while the iron is hot 
divide and rule so next type of plans is policies a policies are the general statements which serve as a guide to take any decision within the organization for example purchase policy pricing policy recruitment policy payment of wages a policy so an established policy helps to resolve the problems and issues easily so that a decision makers can take decisions without any confusion so policies should not be rigid they should always be flexible my dear students so that they are adaptable to change the situations and environments for example If the company's policy is to fill higher organizational posts through transfers and promotions, there is internal source. So HR manager should have this, this you know, discretionary to fill the post through external sources if no internal candidate is found as suitable. Next will be procedures. The procedures are guide to actions. the procedures are the plans a prescribed the exact time sequence of the work to be done the procedures are the guidelines to action and they are usually intended to do works which are repetitive in nature example the procedure for the admission of a students in a college so another example a procedure for the execution of customers order for a supply of goods means they lay down in a specific manner or a method and the order in which activities have to be performed the procedures are less flexible when compared to the policies so according to terry my dear students so he said that a procedure is a series of related tasks that make up the a chronological sequence and the established way of performing the work to be accomplished so that while a policy is a guide to thinking a procedure is a guide to action next will be methods the prescribed way or the manner of doing each planned task for accomplishing the objective is known as methods the method may differ from step to step a selection of proper method saves time money and effort and it increases the efficiency for example training the employees under on the job training is method a remunerating sales personnel under commission method next will be rules the rules are the established principles for carrying out the activities in a systematic manner So basically the rules are very rigid they do not permit any deviations and they maintain strict compliance their violation attracts disciplinary action or penalty It means the managers cannot use their discretion but supposed to stick to a particular action so they are guide to action to do or to abstain from doing an act for example wear a identity card compulsorily at the workplace a no smoking or no admission without a permission so these are the rules and actually the rules is a plans that a detailed specific actions to be taken in the given situation so like a rules is a set of actions to be followed by every member of the organization they specify what members of the organization are supposed to do or to abstain from doing the rules restricts individual actions and their discretionary and bring discipline in the organization my dear students a rigid policy is a rule for example a company may fix its employee superannuation at the age of 60 years that is retirement age and the rules do not specify sequence of actions next will be a programs 
a program is a single use plan covering a relatively a large set of activities it outlines that the major step required to reach an objective the organization in which our member responsible in each step and the finally the order and the timing of each step so it means a program is a precise plan which lays down the operations to be carried out to accomplish a given task within a specific period of time they are framed for the works which are non repetitive in nature for example program for production of 10000 tons of products in the month of november 2016 the program for production of 2000 cars in the month of december 2016 The next will be budgets. A budget is a statement of expected results expressed in a numerical terms. It is a plan which expresses the future facts and figures in a quantitative terms for a specific period. For example, a sales budget which helps in a forecasting the sale of a particular product during a particular month. as budget is expressed in numbers it becomes a very easy to compare the actual performance with the estimated figures and the corrective actions can be taken subsequently just that the budgets are statements of financial resources set aside for specific activities in a given period of time they are primarily devised to control an organization's activities and they are important component of programs and the project thus the budget is also considered as a control device dear students in this session we have learnt about a types of plans that is a program project budgets policies rules procedures and the reference books for the session the management process textbook by apanneya and reddy and t ramaswamy textbook rekhand viva and dr alesh pandi dear students for watching the video